Lake Winnipeg is the 10th largest freshwater lake in the world. It is both an important tourism and fishing hub and a reservoir for hydroelectric power generation. Every year, thousands of Manitobans travel to Lake Winnipeg to enjoy water sports, camping, fishing, and relaxing, and the lake is an important part of life in the province. Lake Winnipeg has a rich history dating back to 1900, and at its peak, it boasted train stations, dance pavilions, roller coasters, and boardwalks. At the south end of Lake Winnipeg, at the mouth of the Red River, lies Netley Lebo Marsh. It is one of the largest freshwater coastal wetlands in Canada and consists of shallow lakes, channels, and wetland areas through which the Red River flows on its way to Lake Winnipeg. Unfortunately, Lake Winnipeg suffers from eutrophication, a process that occurs when excessive amounts of nutrients, mainly phosphorus, are deposited into the lake through rivers. This leads to an increase of blue-green algal blooms that deprive the lake of oxygen. A healthy, functioning coastal wetland is supposed to act as a filter and help reduce excessive downstream nutrient loading. Netley Lebo Marsh is currently not a healthy coastal wetland, and the impact this has on Lake Winnipeg is significant. Cattails are marsh plants with long, slender leaves that grow in wetland areas such as Netley Lebo Marsh. They are important because they absorb phosphorus. The phosphorus cycles through the cattails throughout the summer and eventually returns back to the sediment layers below as they die in the fall and slowly decompose. This has negative repercussions because the decaying plant materials release the phosphorus back into the water. In some wetlands, the phosphorus can accumulate to the point where the wetlands become saturated and can't carry any more. And this affects the ability of the wetland to store nutrients and improve the quality of water flowing through it. Since 2004, the International Institute for Sustainable Development, the University of Manitoba, and Ducks Unlimited Canada have been exploring the process and benefits of harvesting cattails from the marsh to further remove stored nutrients. Harvesting the plants could reduce loadings in the marsh and nutrient export to Lake Winnipeg. The harvested cattails are collected, dried, and baled, and later turned into compressed biomass fuel sources such as pellets, cubes, or logs, which are both a source of bioenergy and a renewable resource. After the cattail pellets or cubes are burned, the remaining ash, which still contains the phosphorus that was stored in the cattail, can be recycled into fertilizer. In order to successfully implement the carefully timed harvest of cattails in Netley Lebo Marsh, a low-impact wetland harvester prototype was designed and constructed. It is able to cut cattails and other marsh plants in various marsh conditions, and it was first used in 2006. Research is now underway on development of a pilot-scale harvester. In total, there are five main benefits that result from harvesting the cattails in Netley Lebo Marsh. The first is nutrient removal. Removing the nutrient-laden cattails permanently removes the stored phosphorus from the marsh, which over time will benefit Lake Winnipeg by decreasing the effects of eutrophication. The second benefit is bioenergy production. The harvested cattails are valuable lake-friendly biomass material, which is a source of fuel for bioenergy. Bioenergy is renewable energy from biological materials, such as cattails, and it is a promising future renewable energy source. The third benefit is carbon credits. Cattail fuel pellets can be burned in place of coal, which greatly reduces greenhouse gas emissions and cuts down on carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. They also produce revenue from carbon credits, which can later be traded or used. The fourth benefit is phosphorus recovery. The remaining ash, which contains high levels of phosphorus, a limited natural resource critical to global food security, can be collected and recycled as fertilizer. The last benefit is habitat improvement. Removing the overlying dead plant material opens the area to sunlight and allows new cattails to quickly regrow the following spring after the marsh has been harvested. Removal of the deadfall and new plant growth improves the overall health of the marsh and also improves the habitat for the animals that live there. Harvesting cattails at Netley Lebo Marsh effectively demonstrates an integrated approach that can result in a multitude of benefits, which includes nutrient removal, bioenergy production, carbon credits, phosphorus recovery, and habitat improvement. Each step along the way, whether it's removing cattails from the marsh or making fuel pellets, is another step towards sustainability and improving the health of Lake Winnipeg. By restoring plant communities and improving both the channels and waterways in Netley Lebo Marsh, 
it is possible to reduce nutrient loading. The process could be implemented in many other locations and it is an initiative that will greatly improve the environment in the future. For more information, visit www.iisd.org.